So today EA dropped a really good card in Ultimate Team. It is this 84 rated Rule Breakers Corner which we are going to try out. Won't lie, I'm a bit scared to buy him right now because he is dropping very, very quickly. So if you guys could leave like rating on the video, that would be very much appreciated because I get the feeling I'm about to take a pretty heavy loss. If you need some coins to improve your team, look no further than IG Vault for the cheapest coins on the market and don't forget to use the code Kieran to get yourself a discount at the checkout. There's a chance to win some free coins just by clicking the link in the description too. And there it is, he is bought 227k paid, I wonder what I'm going to sell him at. I have to say he looks absolutely fantastic, but because he's solo rated he's going to be packed a lot, so his price in theory should come down a decent amount. Now this card is looking brilliant, like on paper potentially could be the best Premier League left back available in Ultimate Team this year. It has some absolutely ridiculous stats. Now in comparison to the non-inform, he's been given a downgrade on his shooting which let's be honest for a left back was pretty pointless. Everything else has received some really, really big boost which is obviously very good to see. He's gone from being, you know, just a pointless uh, left back that was just going to get thrown into SBCs to being up there with some of the premium fullback options in the game. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to try him out today. EA also released Kosterman, Kudus and also a Parejo, but this is the card that I personally really wanted to try out. Also, what do you guys think of my champs team? Looking pretty nice, I think. Um, I really do want to get the Road to the Knockouts um, right back version, but he's currently extinct, so uh, that's a bit of a shame. So let's take a look at this card, shall we? Forced our weak foot, which is actually pretty good for a fullback left-footed on the left side with high, high work rates outside the foot shot trait on him as well. Pace is obviously looking very, very nice for a fullback good to see that. Passing also decent. Good short passing of 83. Nice crossing of 80. Dribbling not looking too bad either. 91 agility. Certainly could go on some runs with him and uh, his defence and physicals are also pretty pleasing. Especially his physicals. For a left back, they are really, really good. He was given a plus 15 in defending, which is very, very nice, and a plus 8 in physical and dribbling, so uh, that is obviously great. Anyway, what chem style are we going to use on this guy? Are we going to go with Anke or are we going to go with Shadow? I think we're going to go with Anchor because his pace is already, you know, nearly perfect. And uh, the extra plus, plus 10 in strength, sorry, is uh, very much welcome. And let's be honest, them defensive stats are already very, very nice. Just want to do a quick comparison. So this is your current probably best left back in the Premier League, especially if you're judging by rating. And I have to say, like just on face value... Corner is looking better to me, like just on paper, we'll, we'll see how it performs in game, but on paper to me, he does look a lot better, and I just want to do a little bit of a comparison to uh, Fel and Mendy as well, just in regards to uh, the physicals, I just want to see how he stacks up, because that's kind of interesting, they're not too far off in these physical departments, and Mendy's physicality is one of the things that makes him so good in FIFA. Okay then, straight into champs we go, and we are up against this full Premier League side, ironically we are up against Robertson. Tell you what is really annoying though, the fact that he has painted pitch lines. I don't get why people do, I actually really don't. In the comments below, let me know. Do you have painted pitch lines? And if so, genuinely just want to know why, as Corner springs into action with a nice intercept. Castiles finds Corner, who's got options. We're going to try and switch play here. Nice up there to Manafa. Corner goes for the long pass. That is a booming pass, and uh, it actually pays off for us. My opponent keeps doing this, he keeps coming down the um, corner edge and then just switching to the other side. I think he's like decided it's so much going to be more beneficial for him to attack down Manifa's side. Okay, we ended up scoring three goals and my opponent decided he had enough. Um, so a good debut for Corner, getting himself a clean sheet. Didn't have a whole lot to do though because my opponent soon decided that attacking down the other side was the best option for him. So um, yeah, Corner plus points for putting fear into the opposition. Swiftly into another game we go, and this time we're up against a very colourful squad. Plenty of special cards on show. Let's see how we get on. Oh, they couldn't keep it. Oh, nice there from Connor. Him and Costum linking up well to win us the ball back. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was just going to go out there. Kept it in. Connor goes long. Oh, big mistake. Dina Tauli now with a chance. Can we score here? Oh, I've bottled that. I have absolutely bottled that. I was in two minds of what shot to go for, and in the end, just became too late. All my fault. Nice corner. 
I mean, the referee was about to blow, but he was going to make the intercept no matter what. At the break, we are 2 1 up. What a block. Love that positioning, love the block, and we escape. Ooh, let's get rid of that. Nice pass there. Really nice pass into space. And goes the ball out wide to Diata. Corner coming across in pursuit. Oh, he got a touch on it, and it was a good touch as well. That helps us retain possession. Tina Tower links up with Corner, who's now got a chance to whip the ball into the box. And oh, it bounces to Tina Tower. Oh, almost ended up in the back of the net. Nice Corner. Ain't gonna run it. Oh, that was so predictable, and Connor does well to stretch out and emit the intercept. Man, Dina Tower has been so good for me this weekend league. We've just hit a fourth, and I believe he's going to be on his way out. There's no point in him quitting, but he has. Like, he may as well have waited like, the extra few minutes, but it is what it is. Dina Tower, fantastic. Um, Connor, also really, really solid in that game as well. Was not at fault for the goal. That was the centre-backs, and uh, Connor just was brilliant, to be fair. It's going to be another Premier League theme side for game number three, and uh, yeah, let's see how we do. Sancho, going to try and get away from Corner, but this is just not going to happen for him. And uh, Corner does well to distribute there. Can we get on the end of it? Not quite. Idea was good, execution not so much. Oh, good effort. Thought, you know what, in space, let's go for it. On his delivery to the back stick. It's a good delivery and it's an assist as well. Corona gets on to the end of it. And by the way, if you have not seen my review on this guy, please go check it out. He is an absolute baller. And he's not a tall player either. He just is good at just winning aerial duels. I'll get there, please. Oh, nice. Didn't think anyone was going to go flat in the end. No, because of that. Good chance to attack here. Ball's whipped in. And oh, that should have been... Another, should have scored off that. Okay, half time in this one, we have ourselves a pretty comfortable lead. Great things. Great things? That isn't what I meant to say. I meant to say you love to see it. My, my mind is just mad. Nice block on there. I pulled him out and got a bit aggressive there, so it's good that he made the block, because otherwise that through ball could have ended up anywhere. No, I don't think so. And nor does my left back. Oh, what a horrible, horrible way to concede. That's undeserved, too. Big deflection. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, Corny with a big, big interception there. Oh, referee, I was going to get another. Okay, the score and then 6-3 after extra time. Yep, we did bottle a 3-0 lead, which is very frustrating. My opponent learned how to do time finesses very quickly and scored three goals in quick succession, but in extra time, we got the job done. Happy days. Three games played, three games won, and um, got to say, I like this card. It is a brilliant left back option there really isn't anything to really dislike about the card there's only one thing that i really picked up on and that was his positioning he does like to you know get forward and join you with attacks which can leave space in behind however that can be solved by putting the stay back while attacking instruction on him which i do recommend you guys do if you use this guy unless of course you do want an attacking fullback in in which case you know let him roam free but for the most part i do feel like stay back is a really good instruction for this guy um so what did we like about the card um the physicals like his ability to just not people off the ball was really really good his stamina meant that he was able to last the full 90 minutes the fact that he won a good amount of aerial battles as well which is not a, not something you can say for a lot of full backs and um, defensively made some good intercepts made some good tackles and just as a whole to be honest he's just really good he's a very good card and i'll say this as well for an 84 overall He's class. Like, he does not perform like his rating suggests. He performs much higher, in my opinion. So that was really, really pleasing. Also, when going forward, he feels decent with possession as well. So he's a player that you can, you know, start an attack with too, which is obviously very, very nice. And his distribution for a defender is also up to a good standard. So other than the fact that he likes to, you know, shoot out a bit and get forward... He's just a brilliant left back and just on the back of that, I think he is the best Premier League option for a left back in the game right now. Pretty scared to look at, oh my god, he's currently 125k, I've lost so many coins, ah, that sucks. I knew it was going to happen but I just really wanted to try this guy out but honestly, if he does go under 100k, 
I do think he is good value, and at that point, he is worth picking up. Right now, as I say, for me, he definitely is the best Premier League left back you can get. So if you're wrong with a Premier League side, it's just a no-brainer to have this guy in your team. I do believe he is better than Road to the Final, um, Road to the Knockout, sorry, um, Robertson. And to be honest, there isn't too many other you know standout Premier League left backs. So. Uh, yeah, as I say, if this guy does go under 100k, I do think he is good value. And to be fair, already at 125, I do think he is, you know, a good price at that point as well. I just wish I waited a little bit longer and I wouldn't have lost, you know, 100k. Anyway, I think it's time to sell this guy. My overall review is a big thumbs up on this card. I think it's a really solid item, but he does need that stay back while attacking instruction on him. Otherwise, his wear crates and his attacking position will take him forward. But other than that, defensively in one-on-ones, he's got the physicals, he's got the tackling ability to do a good job defensively and he's also got a decent amount of dribbling and passing to take you forward as well at this stage of the game so yeah all round a brilliant left back option and uh, like I've said numerous times if he does drop under 100k like I think he's going to I think he's going to end up being really good value as well so guys, that is my review of the 84 rated corner. Hope you can leave like rating on the video. That would be very much appreciated. In the middle of the screen, there is some more player reviews. Over on the right, some player rankings. And over on the left, you can find out who is going to be in the latest team of the week. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.